In this video, we will apply the line loads to the frame CE model. So this is our model. So I will go to frame CE. So we will just select the beams. So knowing, knowing that we have CHB at the prim, perimeter beams or at the perimeter part of our building we have chb chb wall and that loading will be applied to the perimeter beams so the value of of the loads is is this one i will just show it okay uh this is superimposed dead loads like superimposed dead dead loads which is line load so we will just refer to this table and this value the derivation of this so from the video number 6 so this is video number 7 so the 3.3 the uh, the value is derived from this table so this table is also in this in SCP table 204-2 so we will use the 150 mm thickness and let's say the unit weight is this one so this unit weight is 19.6 so this is not ordinary CHB so uh, if you are using uh, CHB or if you have material testing or specifications you can um, you can request it to the to the supplier they can do the the material testing they can do the they will give you the specifications for example the 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 strength around uh, or it will be given in the general notes the, the, the I think I don't know the exactly value of the compressive strength of the CHP um, but we have that value and also we also have this uh, density so in this case we will use 2.82 kPa so this is uh, in kPa unit so we will add 0.24 for example this is 25 mm plaster at both side so this is unplastered add 0.24 kPa for each face plastered okay so we have 2.82 plus 0.24 times 2 we will getting 3.3 so uh, this is kPa so if you multiply this by height it will give you kilonewton per meter so in our case at uh, this page so we have here 3.3 times 3 meter height so we get 9.9 .9 kilonewton per meter so this value is 9.9 .9 kilonewton per meter and this value is uh, heavy this I convert this kilonewton to newton just times multiply it by 1000 so it will give you newton and to kilogram just divide it by 10 or 9.81 so you will get in kilogram so this value uh, so 1000 divided 10 it will give you 100 multiplier so kilonewton to kilogram just multiply 100 so i will be getting 990 kilogram per meter so in one meter of chb let's say one meter and the height is three meter this chb is 990 kilogram okay so that value is heavy so just uh, do the calculations uh, correctly and apply it correctly to be able to have a correct analysis forces okay so we will have here 
9.9 and 4 for the roof deck or the parapet wall and I think this value is not I will delete this value this is okay so delete it uh, oh. I will just save it okay so 9.9 .9 and 4 so I will set it aside and I will uh, display or I will select the parameter beams so the doors and windows will not uh, will not uh, deducted so I will I want to see the ground floor and the second floor I will just go to elements and view layer so I will deactivate the level 3 oh okay you can deactivate the slab and the loadings okay so I will just select the perimeters so this perimeters at the second floor So this is the terrace part so I will uh, I will not include that one so this is for the uh, let's say this part at the ground floor is parking so no no CHB wall here and also at the second floor this part is terrace okay so there is a uh, railings here the still the railings or whatever that is uh, like railing but you can add one um, load let's say one kilonewton or or you can you can uh, compute the line load here okay in this case we will uh, assign the 9.9 .9 kilonewton per meter in this case we will Go to load so after selecting the members go to load uh, loads and go to line line load this one so just click left click and i will just select global at the at this uh, option load type i will say global and uh what uh what direction what global direction to consider so we have y because this is um, a long height or this is uh, the direction of the load gravity load the y direction so in this case at node 1 uh, we have 9.9 uh, kN per meter but in this case we will be using negative 9.9 .9 for the line load negative 9.9 .9. Okay, node 1 and node 2 and I will just say apply uh, apply so in this case I did it uh, um, in this case um, if you say apply the dead load will be added so DL so supposedly this is, is DL so one thing to consider in frame CE if you want to uh, you have to uh, you have to be careful to these load cases so in this case this is not dead load this should be is dl so i will just click apply so i i applied the load uh incorrect so what to do is uh i will just select that one and and let's say i will select it and apply global this is the dead load and i will set it to zero to be able to uh remove the load the incorrect load so i will just click exit and i will select it first the sdl so sdl first and select the perimeter beams okay so 
that is the so it's DL first and select second select this uh, beams and click line load then this is negative 9.9 and here is negative 9.9 and just apply so that is the is DL okay so for the roof part we will go to elements and view so I will display the level 3 and we have the value of let's say 4 kilonewton per meter so in this case we use 3.3 times 1.2 but uh, this let's say 1.2 meter okay so equivalent to 4 so I will uh, select SDL and I will select this beam next is loads and line load then global and this one is negative 4 and negative 4 I will just click apply so this is the frames with applied line load so I will show all the uh, structural system and this is your line load okay so next um okay so i will go back to my manual and the next step is so this is the line load initial run so we will before we apply the lateral load we will run the analysis to be able to investigate the the, the self weight and the reducible life and the superimposed dead loads because the seismic loads will be dependent on the gravity loads or in the self weight of the structure so I we will run this analysis and I say let uh, let's say click this one to run the analysis so run the analysis and the analysis completed we will just uh, investigate the reactions and the elements load so I will hide the elements load slab slab load so I will hide it, that one so let's say I will go to dead load and I will just show the reaction to be able to to see the 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 structure so the structure has the has this or having this reaction at the dead load case so this is RY so this is the normal force to the columns and it, you want to investigate further just click it and there is also the lectural moment reaction so I will just uh, say okay and I will just uh, select SDL so this is the SDL reaction and the reducible life reaction is this so the reaction is uh, I think uh, there is a forces in the model so I can also um, if you want to try to to check it manually so so uh, you can you can make it also you can or so I, I already check this software uh, small structure by doing hand calculations and the, the result is almost identical and there there is a small difference maybe two percent to one percent to uh three percent depend on the uh, structure geometry so now we have the reaction and we can go to um member forces this is the shear in moment so so this is uh, i will just remove the reaction so just go to reaction and 
uncheck this one and click OK. So I will just click this uh, so this is our uh, major access moment flexural moment and if we this is the moment okay so there's a values and also we can have the major shear so I will just click this one Okay, so this is for reducible live. And if you want to go to dead load, so this is the values. So we can uh, discuss it further in the analysis uh, tutorial. So I will go to, let's say, diagrams. So this is the diagrams. Let's say I will click this beam. So you have you, you will be able to see the shear diagram, 16.1, negative 16.8, and this is the the moment diagram and this is the uh, deflection so in this case uh, we have this and for the column you have this for the column so this is for the column this is the shear diagram for the column and this is the moment diagram for the column okay so this is for the dead load action okay next is so I can choose this one so in this case supposedly we have this uh, beam this beam is in our design this is uh, we're considering one beam here but in this case uh, frame CE since we we divide this one so it will uh, give us this segment so in the other segment we will just click the other segment okay for the other segment you have this value so I will just uh, so this is the other value okay for the other segment so if okay so we will discuss it further so in this case uh, we apply the line loads that is DL okay so next video is video number uh, I think 8 okay